Welcome to Therapy Through Cards. Welcome to your reading today. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at what abundance is coming into your future. So we have four piles today because I kind of felt like there is going to be a number of storylines, a number of different messages because there's going to be a wide variety of you. So I decided to do four. I want you guys to use your intuition and choose the pile that you're drawn to because that will be the pile with your messages from spirit. If you guys don't know how I work, I, I do channel. I'm very clear audience, clear sentient is my main spiritual gift. But I also can see visions as well. But we're going to be using a number of tarot, oracle and intuitive messages. I use the whole, whole variety. So let's get into it. We're going to start with this pile, pile number one. All right, if you chose that pile, this is going to be all about the abundance that is coming into your future. Okay. So <laughs> we have a little intuitive message in here, pile number one, and I'm going to read it to you when I feel the time is right. But what we're going to do is I'm going to channel your energy. I'm going to tap into your energy. We're going to get your messages. We're going to see what... It's so funny because this is this is about future abundance. And immediately I was about to say success. So I was going to say future success. Sometimes spirit will put words into my mouth. And especially if it's Merc Mercury retrograde, I will start to just throw out words that I don't actually mean. <laughs> but they definitely mean something for your reading. So success is coming into your future pile number one. And it's interesting because I was drawn to this pocket bag. Spirit will usually draw me to a pile and it's your pile today. And I never choose pile number one. I'm always choosing four or three. So this is very interesting. So what I'm going to do, if you guys don't know how I work, I am very clear sentient. I feel the energy of the cards and they come to life for me. So I'm going to channel, I'm going to use oracle, I'm going to use tarot, I'm going to use intuitive messages. We're going to get so many messages for you this evening. Uh, yes, it's it's getting darker. <laughs> so don't worry if, if the candlelight starts to get brighter. But let's tap in. Let's see what I can get. Let's get some channeled messages for you, pound number one, while I get all your cards for you. so fascinating so spirit immediately said to me that there is a missing piece or a missing ingredient that you have found okay so the vision that spirit was giving me for you was this can i know it's really interesting like a, a can of it could have been beans or it just it was just a can of food but spirit was telling me that this is the ingredients that you've been missing in your life. So it's basically a metaphor. It's a metaphor of you're going to find something that, oh, oh God. Okay, so it keeps telling me this is the right flavor or this is the right seasoning. Or there's just something that um, makes your life that little bit more richer or that little bit sweeter or that little bit more exciting. It's like the icing on the cake. Exactly. That's what Spirit was trying to say. So I'm feeling... Uh, okay, Spirit also just said to me, pound number one, that you're on the right path. You're on the right path with something that you're doing in your life. So uh, if you feel like you're stuck and you're like, I, I don't know what path to take or I don't know the, the future that lies ahead, I'm quite uncertain... There is something that you already do or some sort of knowledge that you have or some sort of gift or skill or talent that you already possess. That you may, some of you may already be uh, aware of this and actualizing that, but some of you may just not be aware yet, but it's already there. It's already developed, which is really, really exciting. I get so excited about this for some reason. I'm like, oh my God, really? Wow. Okay. So maybe it's just about you guys realizing hey okay i'm really good at this this is what i'm gonna do or we'll get more about that with the cards the cards will let us know but let's let's channel a little bit more what abundance is coming into your future 
let's see, for pile number one. Okay, something something about your mother. I know, I, I just got it. I just got mother, mother figure, something significant. It's interesting, you may be a mother, you may be becoming a mother, or there may be a mother in your life that is plays a big role in your abundance, in your future. Okay, you may be close to your mother. Oh, so we got... oh, okay, far out. Some of you guys want the fairy tale dream. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the fairy tale dream is very so subjective, right? It's like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> but you have a very vivid imagination and you're very good at ideal idealizing the ideal life that you want, you know? <laughs> there is definitely this ideal future, this ideal dream that you may want to pursue. Even though I know that some of you guys are a bit... Hang on, I am I may be a bit quite confused. You may be a bit uncertain. But you have a gut feeling of the way that you want... The way that you could see yourself living in the future. You know, you have this idea of abundance. And that's, oh, far out. I'm thinking, why is this Ace of Swords faced up? And that is exactly what it is. You may not be pursuing your ideal dream life or know exactly the right, uh, the right way to action your dream life. You know how sometimes we feel like, you know, I want to have a nice house or I want to have lots of money or I want to have a family or I want to meet my soulmate. Yes, they're all factors to to abundant life, right? An abundant life or a successful life. But there has to be something that... There's got to be this kind of... I, I'm trying to explain it, guys. Just, just bear with me. With this Ace of Swords... There's this clarity, there's this idea, there's this, there's this way, there's this, oh. let me, come on, come on, spirit, give me the word, what is it? It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. so you need a vehicle, this is what spirit's giving me, spirit's giving me this vision of a car, you need a vehicle to take you to those specific dreams that you have in your mind so there needs to be this vehicle all right it's and that's what's going to take you there and that's this ace of swords this ace of swords is going to come through and oh my goodness <laughs> i keep getting more channels this ace of swords could be a person wow okay so there may be a person coming in for some of you that's going to be that vehicle that's going to be that clarity for you that's going to help you with because i am feeling a level of uncertainty like, I can't seem to, like, you have, you know exactly where you want in your future. Like, you know you want to have maybe some kids or you want to have a really a lot of money. Like, it's very vague, you know, it's really big. It's common. Like, a lot of people want that. But how do you know exactly how to get there? Like, what are the steps that you need to take? And I think this Ace of Swords is really highlighting that. This Ace of Swords could be a person that comes and helps you with that and may help you attune your your focus and realize okay this is this is what's going to make me a lot of money or this is what I need yeah I'm like thank you spirit spirit gave me the word I'm so sorry pile number one it came it comes sometimes quite a while in I have to keep like trying to figure it out resources ace of swords is the resources that you need in order to have a lot of money you're definitely going to be successful it's just right now you just need to figure out you need a little bit more clarity because i'm getting really uncertain here i'm like oh my god like what do they some okay there's two there's two groups here there's the people that already have the resources you may already have some sort of level of success i'm gonna say that and then there's another bunch of you that you know that you want to have a lot of money you know that you want to be successful you know that this is the lifestyle that you want but it's just about how do I find the resources or how do I find... Oh my god. Far out. Guys, didn't I say that this is like a vehicle? And then look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. There's a motorbike. 
and I didn't even realize that there is a motorbike there is the camera zooming in yeah so look at that it's like you need you need some help in order to figure out how you're going to get there and what resources you need so that's going to be really exciting I think for this particular pile we're going to figure it out with your card spirit's going to actually tell you the resources that you need or it may even be the skills or the talents that you have because i definitely feel like you have something you have something that stand that makes you stand out because if you believe that you you want something big in your life because i i'm sensing it here for this pile you're it's it's the energy i'm getting is like you want to live a bigger life a bigger life than just average yeah like you may want a luxury you may want a ferrari that's the vibe i'm getting for this pile you want the finer things in life and this person is it could be a person just because we have brad pitt here and who is brad pitt brad pitt is quite well known he's quite successful isn't he he is an actor so some of you guys may have skills when it comes to acting and drama in the creative fields okay so i'm gonna get two more cards we're gonna find out we're gonna we we're on a journey for your pile which i've never really had in a reading spirit's taking us on a journey some of you guys just with the motorbike because that's a vehicle i'm kind of feeling like this person may ri ride a motorbike that comes into your life um if it's not a person it's just about resources helpful people helpful also, with the Ace of Swords, it's about clarity. So you will know, you will exactly have that direction that you need in order to get you to this lavish lifestyle that you're going to be living in the future, which is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so let's see. Let's turn over your cards. Let's get some more information. What do we have? Strength. Wow, my strength shines through today. So this isn't about your physical strength. This is not, no, look at this. We have a star. She's holding a star. So there is some skill and some strength that you have within yourself that is going to make you shine every day. <laughs> Let's see what else. Four of Cups. Wow. Okay, I'm not taking reversals, even though that was in reverse. I'm not taking reversals. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But this Four of Cups is like, ah, I love it. Four of Cups can represent you're missing you're missing an opportunity that's right in front of your face it could also represent that you're just not satisfied with where you're at right now you want more you want and that's the vibe i'm getting here it's almost like you know you're you're better than what what you're doing now okay uh this could also t this also tells me that you you're in the future your future abundance <laughs> is taking you away from this energy because when i do my readings guys this is the past energy okay it, it's kind of like the past then it comes into the present and then we go into your future that's how i always kind of navigate the flow of the energies in my readings so this could be the you're just coming out of this energy or you're just like i'm over it i'm over the fact that i know i have so much potential so we'll let's see. We'll get a little bit more information. Let's have a look at this. A twist in the tail. <gasps> look at this. The unexpected. A change you do not see coming. I love this. Okay. So this is a pleasant change. So a big change is coming with this Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords, Aces of Beginnings, right? There. So this, this is going to be this new... <sighs> this new sense of clarity or this new person or this resource that you finally realize that is going to take you to where you want to be it's going to take you away from this four of cups energy which is just it's it's not satisfying i mean if you want a larger than li life kind of lifestyle then the four of cups is not going to cut it it's it's just like i know that i'm worth more whether that is about your environment or just yourself, personally. Okay, let's have a look. Great happiness. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is the unexpected change that you did not see coming. It's going to prove to be very happy. We also have a musical instrument here. So the skill or, or the, the resource that may help you is music. You may actually have a really good skill. You may be talented musically. 
creative creativity is coming through as well here we have a star and who is brad pitt brad pitt is a star okay you don't have to be this amazing actor or actress right uh you could be if you are it's clarification that you're a star that is your strength and that it's going to be something that gives you great happiness and that will be the opportunity that comes into your life but regardless whatever resource that comes into your life and i think it's going to come in unexpectedly to take you to this abundance in your future it's going to bring you great happiness and let's have a look at this card above transformation beautiful 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 so this big unexpected change is going to transform your life for the better with the great happiness and look at this guys if you don't know how i read my messages or how spirit gives me messages i read in number sequences so we have a four and we have a five so that means that these two cards are connected so you're going to be transforming this dissatisfaction energy and becoming really really happy in your future we also have self-love i speak to myself with words of kindness i am deserving of love beautiful i love that for you so the way you speak to yourself is going to be really important oh do we have a 34 oh my god guys look at this i have a double number so I also receive messages through double numbers. So we have 34 and 34. So yes, your strength, that something that you have, something that makes you a star, it, it's like you receive news or something, especially with the Ace of Swords, you receive some sort of communication that is unexpected and that transforms your life. And you're like, yes, okay, wow, maybe you got that role that you wanted in a movie or it's, yeah. Or you got given that resource that you needed in order to cross this bridge. I love this bridge because with this card here, it's like with the five also represents change, but it's about you crossing this bridge into a into your future, basically. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look at your other tarot. You have the Magician. Beautiful. Another one. So Magician is, oh, pile number one. I'm talking about resources. I am talking about resources. The Magician. Okay, the, 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 the definition. This is not channeling. The actual definition of the Magician is the fact that he has all his resources to get him to the lifestyle that he wants or to achieve whatever he wants. And basically the magician is manifestation. So there is something that you want to manifest. And because it's one, and then we have the ace here, which is also a one, meaning that these two cards are connected. And basically what was I saying? This person is a important resource to you and the dreams that you want to manifest. You are the magician, pile number one. Okay, usually there is a card here that will represent the person that I'm reading for. You're the magician. You, you already have this skill, this gift, this strength, okay, here with the star. You are star potential. Doesn't have to be being a literal actress or you just have something. Something that I feel like will come to you unexpectedly. If you haven't already, you're finally going to find out that you can do something, but you do it very, very well. And you're like, oh my God, this is, I'm going to use this as a way to fund the lifestyle that I want. I'm so sensing that some of you guys want to really live like a celebrity or a star. And I just got ringing in my ear. Let's get more information. We have patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. We also have the attitude here with the self-love. You know the biggest thing with manifesting or with the magician is about going within and assessing the way that the magician speaks 
thoughts to himself. I'm just saying this person. And this person's Matt Damon. Oh my god, more celebrity. I know this is my movie tarot deck. And the fact that you actually chose... No, you didn't choose the movie. You didn't choose the movie. I thought you chose the movie deck. But there is something. There is something like Hollywood vibe. Do you live in a place where there's a lot of celebrities? I, there is something going on here. Okay, so the, you may be recognized by a celebrity. Or there is something about... Maybe you're going to be scouted out or something. Okay, so the magician here. Yeah, so he isn't going to speak to himself. In order to create the manifestations and the things that he wants in his life, he's not going to speak to himself in a poor fashion, right? Look at this. Self-love. He knows that he is worthy of his manifestations. He knows he's worthy of love. Because ultimately, the abundance that's coming into your life is something that brings you great happiness. And when something that brings you great happiness, it is filled with love. So Spirit is giving you some advice here. Just slow down. You need to assess your attitude and clear your mind because when you clear your mind, your manifestations and the lifestyle that you want is going to come in really, really quickly. And it will with the Ace of Swords. It's going to, yeah, once you get the resources, you're going to be on fire. And then we have the thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. Wow, that's so interesting. You're like, you wouldn't think that the thorns would be about you actually bringing in new and positive future like this is all about the abundance in your future it's a very positive it's gonna bring you great happiness but spirit's also saying here that yeah you may have some challenges okay but ultimately the challenges will lead you to this future that you envision i am sensing that you guys have it you can envision it you know the type of car that you want to drive. You know the clothes you want to wear. I'm just getting that luck. I don't know why it is. We'll, we'll pull some other cards. But you will get through the challenges that you're going through. Or that the challenges that will approach you. So don't worry about that. And I'm just kind of sensing that this Four of Cups energy is actually maybe the biggest challenge. It's the challenge of like uncertainty as I felt at the beginning of your reading. And just not knowing exactly the right resource that's going to help you get to the lifestyle that you want to live but we're talking about your abundance in particular it's going to be you sharing something that you're really good at or a skill and then being able to use that to fund a lifestyle why do i say fund i keep fun i keep saying that for you let's have a look at your little pocket bag intuitive message happiness far out and you got it here yeah so just have patience power number one patience because you have everything you need with the magician and you're going to be attracting someone that's going to help you as well if the magician doesn't have everything he needs he'll attract it he'll find it and that's what this ace of swords is which is really really exciting so ultimately let's get some intuitive messages before we wrap up your reading also guys if you feel like you want a private reading i am doing readings but only if you guys book on my website i will never ever reach out and offer you a reading so just go to therapythroughcards.com okay look oh my goodness look at this can you see this pile number one look at that that's amazing look what we have we have take charge of your life this will make you feel better i think you will four of cups can also be this little bit of like oh just kind of you're stuck you're not exactly you're you're, you're not oh my god something is going to force you out of this four of cups pound number one someone's is almost gonna like push you over and you're gonna roll down the hill but it, then it leads to this face of swords this opportunity and this resource so yeah okay big changes coming powerful yes powerful oh my god this unexpected invitation or this realization of wow okay suddenly i am going to use this or i'm going to start this podcast or i'm going to do this venture this is the resource that's gonna 
gonna make me a lot of money yes and then we also have you'll be in the public eye so yeah i do feel for some of you guys you literally may become a movie star or you may become some sort of well-known public figure spirit is sending you messages what keeps repeating in your life interesting and it's landing on the self-love card guys it's landing on the fact that i speak to myself with words of kindness i am deserving of love so <sighs> You are deserving of your future lifestyle. I really want you to, to, to realize that, okay? It may feel like it's really far in the future, but Spirit's kind of saying, if, yeah, maybe it comes up in your mind, you're like, it keeps repeating in my life, like this desire or this want need. Spirit's just saying, pay attention to what, how you're speaking to yourself. So power number one. Wow. What an amazing reading. Okay. So just know that the abundance that's coming in your life is pretty freaking amazing. <laughs> it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you, um, it's going to bring you the lifestyle that you desire. I, I, it's really interesting why I keep feeling like you want a certain way of living. Interesting. Okay. All right. Pile number two welcome to your reading let's get into your energy what i'm going to do today we are looking at what abundance is coming into your future if you guys don't know how i work what i do is i i have all the clairs clair audience clair sentient and i also uh can get visions as well so we're going to use a number of decks, oracle, tarot, and intuitive messages. I also have a little intuitive message here that I will read when I feel the time is right. What I'm going to do is I'm tapping your energy, and we're going to get a few channeled messages from the spirit. And then I'm while I get all your cards together, we've, we're going to get quite a few. I like a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, let's get your messages. What does spirit want to share with you about your future? What is your energy? We have... Okay, so Spirit just said to me, breaking free. You're going to be breaking free for something. Okay, so something in your life is going to, is going to be left behind. Oh, okay, Spirit just said making mistakes. So some of you guys may have made a mistake or may have, may think that you've made a mistake. Okay, so maybe you're feeling like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done what I did. It's kind of that energy. It's like, oh... Did I make the right choice or, or would have I been better to stay where I was a month ago? Like there is some sort of thinking that the decision that you made in the past or in the near, maybe, no, I definitely feel like it was in the, in the past, wasn't the right decision. And Spirit's bringing it up now. And I am sensing just by the energy of the cards that you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. Uh, you can. If you were not meant to make that choice, pile number two. Okay, take, take it with whatever resonates. You wouldn't have made that choice. I strongly believe that with anything. Okay. I don't believe there, there are regrets and I don't believe that there are mistakes. Okay, there are only lessons or they're kind of like detours to what detours to learning something that you need to learn in your life or just redirection okay to what is meant for you i always find that really powerful so you do not need to live in this this headspace of like hey did i was that right for me you know, should I go back? Like, definitely do not. If this is about a person and you want to go back to that person, not. Stand your ground, okay? Because we're talking about your future abundance. And for some reason, Spirit wants me to settle this settle this indecision that's going on, okay? And some of, most of your cards are facing up, which is really interesting. So they want to be seen. They're like, see, I want to be seen. I want to be seen. Read me, read me. Which I find interesting. Can you believe that? So what else can I channel for power number two? Yeah, there, okay, there is a person involved. I just heard Mr. So, yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ooh. Um, oh, what else? 
Okay, yeah, okay. Some of you guys are fantasizing about someone, okay? So you haven't let go of someone. Or I, I definitely feel like it's a person. It has to be. It, it just was coming through. So you need to put this situation or this person that's coming up in your mind to rest. Uh, am I getting that you need to leave them behind? No, I just... There is something else that needs your attention, that needs your focus in order for you to build this life that you want to build or to have this abundance that's going to come into your life. Okay, I'm just going to get one more card. What else have we got? What messages for pound number two? Uh, what's your energy? Okay. This is interesting for your pile, pile number two. I keep getting taken to this situation. There is a lot going on in your mind. Like, I, I'm going to have a look at your cards in a second. But there needs to be this calming of your mind, okay? I, I can't get past. Your mind is very clogged up. It's fixated on something. It could be a person. I am sensing that for a lot of you. And we're going to have a look at the cards and we're going to see how you can find some peace or just find some calm within this. You may be feeling some guilt or you may, there's just something that you're holding on to. And it could be tied to your emotions because that's usually what happens. When we've got a lot, a lot going on in our minds, it's usually fueled by our emotions and it's just really hard to let go of so we're gonna have a look because this is all about your future abundance so dealing with this right now and i'm sensing that it is in your it is in your presence it's then going to tell us exactly with how settling your mind right now about this person or this issue will will give us more clarity and understanding of the next direction that you need to take. Like, I'm just, I cannot see beyond your mind right now. Okay, let's, let's have a look at your cards. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm channeling big time. Sometimes when I look at the cards, I will just read what it says or take it for face value but sometimes when i look at a card guys i will get a channel immediately and when i get it immediately that just tells me that i need to to read the cards in the way that i receive that channel if you get what i mean so example here is we have present power and we have three of cups so we have the two and then we have the three of cups so this is making me feel like there's a third party involved I will say that, okay? So I always read number sequences, which is this, which is means that numbers that go up in in order, which is two and a three, together, because the spirit wants me to give a message. It's just it's just my principles for what I read. So two and three. There is some power, okay, that is being your why do I feel this, this, this figure here is taking away your power and I'm sensing it's because of some sort of third party. And when I say third party, it just means that there is someone else involved and maybe someone is, okay, this is just an example. What resonate for all of you, but take what resonates. You may have someone not talking to you and they may have moved on and they're with another person. And that's just like destroying you. You found out about that and you're like, why did I leave that person then? You know, I'm still kind of got feelings for them. You may not be really exactly ready to let go of this person or this situation, even though you may not be with them or you're not fully attached. There's that sense, you know, there's that sense of like, you're not, you're not part of something that you once were a part of. And you're just not ready to see this person with someone else. Or it could be it could be something that's a little bit unhealthy, okay? It could be the fact that maybe this person went behind your back. 
there's just something that's it's just makes it really hard for you to fully detach and it's really it, it is quite emotional especially with the three of cups and it's funny because the three of cups is a really positive card usually you know it's about celebration but what i am channeling immediately is the fact that they're not celebrating with you they're celebrating with someone else and i'm i'm sorry to have to put this out there for you uh, this could have happened. This it's almost could have been that someone took advantage of you, or someone just was deceitful in some way. Here, it doesn't have to be very malicious, but it's just it could be. You know, the degree of the extent of the impact that it had on you emotionally, physically. That's gonna depend on your on your situation but the energies here is someone went behind your back or there's that feeling that someone did even if maybe they didn't maybe they said you know i don't want to be with you anymore or you kind of broke it off or there was just some maybe taking some time out but then this person's went out and and started dating someone or even just went on a date and then they're like i cannot do this anymore what, what's going on there's just yeah something needs to be cleared up and it's funny how we've got the voyage here you're you already have all the answers whenever i get water it means emotions so spirit here is wanting you to listen to your emotions is this person really healthy for you is this person someone that you can see yourself in the future it's funny because i'm sensing half of you is very mature and reasonable and knows that no and then there is this other half of you that's like, oh, I, you know, I want things to go back to how they were because it was so sweet. It was so loving. It was beautiful. You know, we have such a history. It's, yeah, it's a, but I, I'm going to say this because we have the voyage which is saying goodbye you know you're about to go on a voyage so this girl she knows that she needs to say goodbye but it's it's hard i know it's hard let's get some more information we're gonna get to the abundance is coming into your future but this 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 is just really presenting itself and really taking a significant impact on your on, on where you're at currently okay so sometimes spirit will, will share that with me and then we have birth wow universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility beautiful so okay so something i feel like this is not part of this message this is a new message so there is something new that's going to come into your life and it's funny because spirit wants me to show you your intuitive message now Spirit will tell me the perfect time for this. Okay, we've got crazy. Wow. So you're going to be giving birth to something. Okay, and this is going to contribute to your abundance in your life. We'll get a little bit more information of what you're giving birth to. We do have here a child, but it doesn't have to be a child. Okay. Oh, far. So it's giving me another channel. Far out. Okay, this is not, this is a very, very specific message, okay? So it's not going to be for the majority of you. But for someone, I know, Spirit's channeling this to me, so I'm just going to say it. You may have children with this person that you loved. Or there may have been pregnant and then it's just really, really, really confusing energy it comp like it's just very complicated it makes things so complicated okay and that's what makes it hard for you to attach it's like you have this person's child okay i know that's not gonna be for everyone uh so yeah so this birth here for the majority of you i am sensing that it's something some sort of opportunity that's going to come into your life and it's going to be crazy crazy in the best way possible how exciting let's get more information Divine Feminine. I honor and nurture the Divine Feminine within me. Wow, lovely. Oh. Okay, so you, you're, you're going to become more in touch with your feminine energy. 
I think you are quite already feminine. I think this is you becoming more loving with yourself and nurturing and not so harsh on yourself. There is just so much of this uh, mental energy. Like, I just can feel it. I'm feeling like there needs to be this soft softening to looking after yourself. This, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like here, you need to give yourself the nurturing that you would give a child because you're not doing that right now. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be really direct here. So you're going to start to realize that you need to do what's best for you and you need to look after yourself because no one else is going to do that. Let's get some more information. I, I really want to know what this crazy thing that's coming in, this crazy opportunity. Pinnacle, Midhaven. Wow. Your Midhaven is going to be really important. You know what your Midhaven is? It is... It's, it's basically going to contribute to what you do for work, what you could be good at. My midhaven, like if you're talking about in your birth chart, my midhaven's in Gemini. So communicating, speaking, writing, that is going to be probably what I'm good at in terms of making a career out of. That is your midhaven. Find out what your birth chart is. Okay, go and just Google birth chart or natal chart and then just put in your name your time of time of birth and where you were born and then you'll find out what your midhaven is because it's going to be significant it could definitely be this opportunity that comes in that's crazy because you're actually using this midhaven energy you're actually aware of hey you know my midhaven's in What's an energy? Let's let's say let's if your midhavens in Pisces. So that would mean that you guys are very artistic. You're very creative. You're very imaginative, dreamy, compassionate. Like you may want to do. You may have aspects of yourself that represents Pisces energy to use in your career. It's just basically skills that you have that you're that you're good at. Okay, let's get some more. Compliments from Admira, lovely. So someone will come in. Someone's gonna compliment you, someone that admires you. And it's interesting how it comes in once you kind of connect to this divine feminine energy. Once you start to nurture and take care of yourself. Lost. Do, 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 do. And look what we have. We have two two. Spirit speaks to me in double numbers. When that happens, it means that those two cards are connected. Look at that. I know it's really hard. Can you see two two? So it's definitely the loss of someone. It's really still in your present energy right now. Tap into this Midhaven energy. What is it? Like, oh, let's have a look. Let's get some more information. Butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness, and hope return. Beautiful. So there may be someone else that catches your fancy, okay? Someone else that's maybe a little bit more healthier, better for you. Once you start nurturing yourself and expressing your feminine energy. We also have the Seven of Wands. Oh, next to the Lost card. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was saying when I was channeling. It's like the Seven of Wands is about... Just look at look look at the Seven of Wands, pile number two. I have such a soft spot for you for some reason for this pile. Look at the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. He's defending himself. He's like, I'm not... I, I'm like proving himself. It's like, I'm ready for a fight. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not going to let you go yet. <laughs> he's not walking away so that makes me feel like there is something you know 
you're hoping that this person will return or the situation will not end up being as gloomy as it actually is. But I love that you've got this card, okay? Because after sadness, there is going to be the sense of happiness that comes in. And this birth, this crazy birth, could be this admirer that's coming in. All right, let's get your intuitive messages. Okay. What messages for spirit for pile number two? Yes, it's just gotten dark outside. Oh, look at that. How many do you have? So we have your success will come when you take, oh, when you be bold and take risks. Okay. Stop indulging in toxic behaviors, the ones you know are not good, but do anyway. Exactly, right? What was I say? So you're going to you're gonna be letting go of that, okay? I know that there's some sadness that you're going through. Look at all oh, the far out. Look at this. The truth wants to come out. What are you denying? Pretending isn't an issue. Okay? You know what that is. And look what we have here. Self-love is required. Let go of the inner critic. The inner critic is what I was listening to when I was tapping into your energy. It's this seven of wands. I don't like the seven of wands. Usually the seven of wands is, is really nice. It's like, you know, you're sticking up to whatever you're putting your energy in. You're, you're a fighter. You know, you're not going to give up when things get tough. But in this sense, with next to the loss, it's like, I'm not giving up over loss. I'm not giving up over this person. This person's still mine, even though they're, you're... You're not exactly committed. That's the energy I'm getting. And you know that this person may not be the best for you. So know that this crazy birth that's coming in is this admirer, okay? So I think that this person is going to be better for you because look at this. After sadness, happiness, and hope returns. Let's get you three little more intuitive messages. Just because, actually, let's get you two of these before I wrap up your reading. Thrive, yeah, okay. Yeah, thrive. But that's going to come in the future, right? It's going to come once you sort of gain your happiness again. Ah, where my focus goes, my energy flows. So where is your energy going? That's to ask yourself that question. So once you start to realize what the truth is and once you start to nurture yourself and realize what's best for you, okay? Because you have the answers right here with the voyage. It's time to go. It's funny how it's water. We have the ocean and then we have the ocean. Isn't that crazy? Whew, pile number two. If anything resonated in that reading, feel free to leave a comment. I'm sending all my love. If you guys want a personalized reading, go to my website, therapythroughcards.com. I do not, I will never reach out to you for a personal reading. Okay. All right. Let's get into pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Yes, it's gotten dark. It is dark outside and I know that you can see the shadow of my phone but <laughs> whatever we're gonna still go we're gonna keep at it we're gonna give you your messages from spirit about what abundance is coming into your life okay and I'm kind of feeling like it's close instantly as soon as I was like getting close to your cards I felt like your abundance is not far off which is really interesting so we'll get a little bit more about that we're going to be using a number of tarot, oracle, and intuitive messages. We have a little message for you in this bag, okay? And I will reveal it to you when I feel the time is right. So what I do is I'm going to tap in. I'm going to use my clairs, which is my spiritual gifts, to tap into your energy and give you your messages while I shuffle and lay out your cards. If you guys want to book a reading with me, I will never reach out to you and ask you for a reading, okay? Because there are so many scammers out there. I just, if you would like a reading, go to my website, therapythroughcards.com. So, so let's get into it now. Let's tap into your energy. 
my beautiful pile number three. So, so we all know that the abundance is coming close. It's going to be coming very near. All right. Let's see what else we can get for pile number three, spirit. Oh, okay. I really like this. You're like a fresh breath of air. That's, I seriously feel, oh my God, like this, this flame is going crazy. It's like bringing out this black smoke. I mean, that's fine. It's not a negative thing, but I, I am, oh my God. Okay. Guys, I'm plesentient, so I feel energies really, really intensely. Just let me try to verbalize them. So I am feeling like wind is blowing across my face. And that just makes me feel that there is going to be a fresh perspective or a shift, like a change in the wind. That is what I'm getting. And it's refreshing. It's that kind of energy. It's almost like I did also get instantly perspective shift as well so there is going to be some sort of perspective that you gain and that's what really rapidly leads you to this this abundance okay and we'll try to we'll, we'll try to get the details of your abundance but something's coming really really fast i feel it within my body it's it's really exciting uh oh, oh what else spirit yeah, you're going to, once you realize, or it could, it, okay, for some of you, it might be news or you, I just visualize this person doing such a happy dance because of something they found out. <laughs> They're like dancing so ha happily. Yeah. Oh my God. You're super happy, pile number three. Okay, yeah. So Bridget said a wish is coming true. A wish is coming true. Oh, okay. Spirit just told me that you need to, to mean what you say. So are your actions... Are your actions coherent to what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, spirit is telling me that the way that you can kind of get things to come in faster in terms of abundance is matching the way that you, your actions to what you're, what you're saying. So what are your beliefs? All right. Are you, are you putting out the energy of like, okay, I want to attract, this is just an example. I want to attract love into my life. Okay. But are you acting from a place of love? Also, I want to attract abundance. And this is all about what abundance is coming into your future. Spirit's giving me the example of, are you acting as if your life is abundant? Or are you acting from a place of, oh, there's so much lack in my life. There's something like that Spirit is trying to tell me right now for you guys. It's almost like you need to start to act the way that you would like your future to be currently because this is this to me is your energy is it's is, it's there is no future <laughs> i know this sounds really weird but your future is happening right now as we speak something is shifting and changing and it's just a matter of effect about your perception like i'd be so surprised if we got the hanged man here it's like ah oh, i need to do this differently and then bang you you just get all this abundance in your life Okay, uh, we're just going to get two more cards. Bear with me. What else do we have? Pile number three. Oh, Spirit is saying about sharing. Sharing. There is something that you need to share. We do have the teacher card here, but I'm not going to get to that energy yet. But there is something that you want to share or that you should share. Okay, just get me get one more card. Okay. Okay, Spirit just gave me the vision of a list. So you, when you write a list, bullet point list, there is something about 
structuring your life, organizing your life. And that makes sense here with the planning and action. So maybe you're, you're trying to create something and you're, cre you're actually creating now your future. Let's get more, I want to get more clarity. Let's turn over your cards. Oh, far out. I shuffled this deck. I saw it. And I, okay, so while I'm shuffling this deck, I saw this card, right? And then I'm like, oh, I don't feel really drawn to pick this card. I want to keep shuffling. And then it just came out again. Sometimes spirit won't let me choose the cards. <laughs> Not that I was trying to choose your card. I was just like, I, I want to keep shuffling. But that's really magical that that came out. So this, this card is very important for your reading today. We have the Dragonling Garden. A new world is born. Wow. So, uh, you're, are you starting, have you just started something new in your life right now? Because I feel like that is your new world. This is your future abundance already here right now. You've been planning it. You've been putting the action in. I always feel like rabbits, I don't know, spirit just speaks to me as the fact that, that, that it's good luck. Let's get some more valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Wow. So guys, I am just sensing for this pile that you have been putting a lot of effort in or, or already trying to kind of put something together. And this is part of your future abundance. Yeah, it may have taken you great personal strength. But it takes a lot of strength to um, create a new world. Let's get a little bit more. Ooh, we have communication. So this may be something to do with the third house. Yeah, definitely. So you may be speaking, writing, communicating in some fashion. I Like I said before, what was I saying? I... I, I envisioned you writing a bullet. Why is it a bullet list? You know, when you dot points. So something that you're writing is really significant to your abundance in the future. Are you writing a book? Are you writing some something that you want to share? Something that you may want to give to the world here. Like a new world is born. It's making me feel like something that you're planning, something that you're writing, creating, constructing is going to become successful. You're going to be a sure success here. Let's get some more information. The Four of Cups. Interesting. Such an interesting. The other pile had the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups can be an energy that I I like to, to say is it's you're not satisfied. You're not satisfied with the Four of Cups. There's something not quite right. You'd rather be somewhere else it's just it's boredom it's it's there's something lacking in your life we're going to kind of see with this card what that's about oh it's the yin yang it's the yin yang look at that guys you got two 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 that's an angel number so two is all about balance it's about partnership it's also about harmony we have the yin yang here which also tells me gives me this temperance vibe but it's not tarot it's yin yang so there is this need for you power number three to balance your yin and your yang energies and that is something that's going to really really help you with your future abundance which is happening right now okay uh it's funny because this is so interesting. We have the planning and we have the action. They are so they are two different things, right? Yin and yang, two different things. They're the opposites. So in order for this new world to be born, there has to be this balance of planning and action. This yin and yang. They have to coincide together. This isn't this isn't about you planning for years on end or just taking action and not really understanding where you're going or the impact that you want to have. It's that kind of information. The information is really big here because I just said information. I wasn't meant to say that. I'm telling you that spirit will put out words that I don't intend to say. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's very significant with the third house here. 
Let's get some more information. The High Priestess. And look, she's holding a book. So I'm definitely feeling maybe some of you guys are here to be authors or to hear to present information. I love that you got the High Priestess because the High Priestess is oh, far out. If there is anyone that is balancing their yin and yang and their planning and action, it would be the High Priestess. She is so, she knows that she has everything she needs. She doesn't chase anything. And she also doesn't just sit there with the, like, with the yin and energy, which is just about being peaceful and receiving love and giving love. She also has, she's also quite assertive. The queen, the high, I'm saying queen, maybe you're a queen as well, but the high, did you just, a spirit is chucking words out of my mouth tonight. <laughs> so I'm feeling that you are the high priestess, pound number three. Usually there's a card in my readings that will represent the reader and the high priestess is you. It's beautiful. She is just so balanced. She's so calm. She knows who she is with the yang energy. She can give and receive love with the yin. And I'm, yeah, wow. Well, Okay, let's get this tarot card. The Seven of Pentacles. Wow, so this is about your work. This is. Okay. Oh my God. Far out, I just realized. All right, sorry, there are so many principles that spirit gives me in order to receive messages from spirit. Look at this, two, 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 two. That is the, the biggest number sequence of twos that I've ever seen in reading. And only the high priestess would <laughs> bring that about, right? She is just so, oh, she's just so witchy. This one makes me feel like she's a witch. <laughs> uh, you guys, Everything that I want to tell you, because I just got another channel, channel, your future abundance is, oh, it's coming through. Okay, 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 far out. We've got more books here. Do you see that? Books. I know that I go on tangents and I go all over the place, but when you get like so many messages and downloads and you're just trying to like put it into... <laughs> A structure that makes sense it's a little bit tricky so I'm just gonna go with this seven of Pentacles here can you see the seven of Pentacles this seven of Pentacles represents you trying to fix something in order to make it better okay it's it's giving me this vibe of like you know you're seeing that you're building momentum it's kind of making me feel like it's the valley you know it's almost like when you're working on something Okay, when you're about to have a breakthrough, you usually go through this valley of despair. And this is what the valley is kind of telling me. It's like a test. The Seven of Pentacles is a test. You're going through a test. It's like the tricky, it's a tricky part of building your abundance that is going to happen in the future. And I think it's to do with the third house. It's to do with high priestess. It could be about you speaking spiritual knowledge as well. Uh, you may be writing spiritual novels or... There is definitely something to do with communication. But the Seven of Pentacles here is about you withstanding this valley of despair and knowing that you're going to come out on top. Look at this. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. But it happens once you go through something a little bit challenging. But you're not giving up. The Seven of Pentacles is just telling me with the High Priestess. It's like you... You have the wisdom and you know that remaining, okay, this is really, really, really important for you, pile number three, is knowing that your inner self, your balance, okay, your, oh, how do I put it, 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 spirit? Come on, give me a word. This Mer Mercury retrograde is just making me go insane. Okay. Make sure that you are centered. 
that's what I'm trying to say. You are not off balance or you are not giving more than you can take or receiving more than you know you should. It's that kind of energy. High Priestess, she's just so in tuned and trusts her intuition and I never feel a sense of chaos with the High Priestess. And that is what I'm trying to say to you guys, pound number three. It's like, remain calm when you hit the Valley of Despair because in order to build a new world, which is part of your abundance here with the third house, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go through the swamp basically. <laughs> Nothing good, no worlds are born without struggle or without correcting mistakes with the seven of pentacles. And with the four of cups right here, you may feel like you're not getting anywhere, or you may feel like you're just in this planning energy, or you're just in this action energy. But once you find your balance, find your spiritual compass, find what keeps you centered, okay? It's about keeping centered. It's about keeping aligned with who you are because the High Priestess knows who she is. She knows it. She, she knows who she was in a past life. She knows who she's meant to become. She knows that the universe and spirit has her back. She's just so powerful and that's you. And it's just about coming back to yourself and feeling aligned because feeling aligned is going to help you with your yin yang balancing and your planning and your action, knowing when you're planning too much or when you're taking too much action, just getting the right amount of energy and expenditure. This is a shifting of energy far out. Sometimes where it takes me 20 minutes to say what I want to say. Two is about harmony. It's two is about balance. And you've got it four times. No, freaking five times. And five represents change. So this is huge. Trying to stay, stay centered when you're about to create a new world. Patience. Lovely. And then we have teacher. So... Spirit wants you to be patient, okay? Be patient with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Seven of Pentacles is about things take time. But like I said at the beginning, something's coming in real quick. I just feel it. I just feel it. Like once you you harness this high priestess energy, bang. Whatever you're trying to create or whatever you're trying to put out there or whatever you're trying. This is something with it. Something with writing, communication, books. We have it here. We have the teacher. Maybe some of you guys want to be a teacher. I'm also sensing reach out and get help from someone. Get help from a mentor. If you need that. You may also be the teacher. You may be teaching other people. Take what resonates. Let's get some more cards for you, pile number three. Let's see, let's see, more messages for pile number three. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I feel like your messages are coming out a little bit more, um, not as simply as I'd like, but the main gift of mine is that I always channel people's energy. So sometimes people's energies are not as clear or coherent as I would like them to be. Oh, look at that. Look what we can see. Oh, wow. Your spirit guides are working closely with you. They want to show you signs. Pay attention and listen. That's the high priestess. Maybe it's just about having faith and trusting yourself. Knowing that you're the high priestess. High priestess is also, also a teacher, I feel. You know, she... Oh. You may, uh, let's get some more information. Let's have a look connection yeah okay so this person here the teacher this may be some sort of connection uh you may be connecting with someone that helps you as a mentor or you may just have a nice connection with a person that's a teacher we have attached lovely we have think outside the box you are not meant to follow the crowd yeah 
you are thinking outside the box with this like that hanged man i got that at the first the beginning of your reading he came through so you're gonna have this perspective shift you're gonna be like you know yes i finally see that this is what i'm going to do this idea or this plan this fits well with me and bang you're going to be attached to it with the third house and the planning and action and it's funny how we've got energy here as well at the top next to the two so this is about shifting and balancing your energies to work in your favor we yeah let's get you two more let's get you two more cards and then i'm gonna reveal your intuitive message we have a ram a stubborn aggressive person okay hmm all right so immediately when i looked at that card i just felt like there may be someone that is a little bit pushy or a little bit it just doesn't vibe with your energy because you're the high priestess right the high priestess would never want to be around this ram <laughs> This ram's too much, you know, too too full on, too aggressive. It's the opposite of this high priestess. So maybe there is someone in your life that's just a bit much for you, and that's where your energy may be a little bit off balance. Okay, let's get back. Let's get centered again. Maybe there's some rituals. I'm so sensing for you guys. You're my introverts. You're not my extroverts at all. You may be very spiritual, far out as look med meditation. You need to start practicing this, especially with the yin yang, especially with the two energy, especially with. I feel like the more you center your energy, the more you're going to be able to figure out something that bang brings you into this whole new world. It's like, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do differently. It's almost like you're too much in the chaos that you can't actually see clearly. And I love how you've got peace here as well. You're also not meant to be doing something that's very conventional, especially with think outside the box. So you're meant to be doing something with the communicating something that may not be, uh, there may be a little bit more alternative or very niche or very uh, uh, different to the usual crowd. Okay. And I think really, really, really stick to that. I think you're quite unique, part number three. And people have a lot to gain from you as well. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading there, my lovely part number threes. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that something resonated. Uh, feel free to comment or subscribe if you want future readings. And if you guys want to book a private reading with me, go to therapythroughcards.com. Okay, we're on to our final pile, pile number four. <laughs> wow, we have finally come to you. And today we're going to be talking about what future abundance is coming into your life. So if you guys don't know how I work, I will be channeling, I'll be tapping into your energy. I will be using a bunch of Oracle Tarot N intuitive messages we have a little intuitive message here i will share it with you when i feel the time is right so what i'm going to do is i am going to shuffle on camera okay uh and tap into your energy and just before i do that if you guys want to book a private reading i am open to doing readings at the moment but only on my website so you have to go to therapythroughcards.com i will never reach out and ask you for a reading Okay, so let's tap into your energy. Part number four. What do I... Spirit, let's let's get me out of pile three and into pile four. What is their future abundance? Oh, Spirit just said you're going to figure something out. There's a lot of figuring out and like problem solving and in all these readings tonight. But something is going to be figured out. Something that you're... That's temporary, spirit saying. Some sort of temporary hurdle that you want over or you want to leave your life. You're just like... It's it's really... it's The, the feeling that's coming through is almost like... 
I don't want to deal with this. This is petty. Like, I want this out of my life. Like, just get it out. It's that kind of energy, which is really interesting. So I think, um, I think that's, that's definitely going to happen. So don't worry. That's definitely going to get out of your life, whatever it is, whatever's annoying you. It's nothing really big. It's just, you know, I want it out of my life. Maybe it, it, the energy that I'm feeling kind of before is like, it's clutter. It's unnecessary clutter. I can't focus. I can't be my best version or something. Okay. So we are getting your cards and look at that. They're facing up. I try not to look at the cards while I'm channeling because it really distracts me from channeling. So I'm not going to look at the cards. What else can we get pile, from pile number four? Oh, you're going to have some sort of makeover. I'm kind of sensing like a glow up. That's also coming through. Spirit also just said take time to rest. So you guys need to rest. I, okay. I, I am getting immediately that you guys have been very busy. You're very, very busy. Like there has been a lot going on. Um, yeah, maybe you've been to a lot of events. You've been, um. Just a lot of activities. Uh, what else can we get? Pile. Okay, I did get animals coming through. I don't know uh, if you have animals, if you're an animal lover, if you care about animals a lot. It just came through. I'm also getting witchy vibes. I'm getting because I did see a black cat so whenever I get black cats it's like okay I know I know it's just generalized that black cats are associated with like you know spirituality and witchcraft and all that kind of stuff so I don't know I yeah okay far out I'm just gonna yeah you guys are witches that's that's interesting part number four you're witches or you may be in a witch in a past life, but it definitely, you have magic. You have magic powers. You can shift your reality. You're very good manifestors. My goodness. Like, I, this is funny because the energy that I'm getting is like, I'm a little intimidated by you. And I don't, I'm usually not like that. I don't get intimidated easily, but I am with you. I'm like, oh, I got to be careful around you. <laughs> you may have a very strong aura or like, you, you may unconsciously, people may feel like they're under a spell when they're around you. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. And I can see the Queen of Swords here, so I'm not surprised. Queen of Swords makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes. Okay, we're going to get two more. So you're definitely the Queen of Swords in this power pile number four. That's your future self. So let's say hello to your future self right there, Queen of Swords. She is an air sign, so you may be an air. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You don't have to. You may have that in your chart. I usually don't mention that, but the Queen of Swords is just standing out. I cannot. She's, she's just... <laughs> she is something, I tell you. I have... <laughs> Uh, I find the Queen of Swords to be such a character out of all the queens. She is the most, she's the most fascinating one. I don't know whether I'd want to be friends with her though, but it's interesting. It's like, I don't really want to be around her, but I respect her. So maybe you guys have this energy, okay? It's big. It's full on. It's, it's worth being respected, but I don't even know whether people can even get close to you, pile number four. There's this sense of, like, you're hard to be available to, be with, or you may um be very choosy or very picky or with how you spend your time. People, you may be quite ruthless with your words. I know the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen, why did I say the Queen of Pentacles? That came through, so interesting. We'll see if the Queen of Pentacles is going to come through as well. But there is something that I am sensing here that gives a lot of power, authority. 
you you may be an influencer already just because I'm seeing a number of other cards but we'll get to that in a second <laughs> can you guys see your cards of course you can yes you can so you're you are a force to be reckoned with pile number four i love that about you guys i, I am like uh, is this funny i just channeled like if i won like, I'm sure you're so beautiful. And I'm sure you have, like, such a sweet heart, like, deep down. But you may have a tough front. You may have this persona that you put on, okay? And, and it's definitely professional, I'm feeling. It's, it's how you keep your power. It's how you keep your status. It's how you keep your authority or your expertise. I definitely feel you're, like you're an expert in something. You may even have credibility and some sort of field or job or you're just people look up to you with the queen of swords like i, I just whew. people may know of you but not not actually get to meet you uh you already have a very few close friends i feel so yeah, Queen of Swords is really big with your abundance in the future. That's you. That's you. Uh, you're very smart. You're very intelligent. We also have here. I'm just having a look at the cards that faced up because the cards that face up in your reading are the cards that want to be read. They have, they're like, pick me, pick me. They have immediate messages for you. So, so let's get into it. Let's have a look. We have the intention card. We have the back and forth. I, oh, I love this so much, guys. I am... At the like, the end of power number three reading, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. My energy is like, uh. but your energy has really lifted me up. And I'm so excited to do your reading. The energy of you is just absolutely, um, you're just someone that I would like to know. Like, I would like to know. I'm fascinated by you, power number four. And th that's the energy I'm consuming right now. You may be very charming as well. You're very charming and witty and you just know what to say at the right time. But look at this. We have the the intention card back and forth and the Queen of Swords. So this tells me that you hate fickleness. You hate people that change their minds. You hate people that don't really know exactly what they want or just keep the, key, the main key word for this card is indecisiveness with the back and forth. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, no. Oh, I want it this way, but no. Queen of Swords doesn't want that. Queen of Swords is like, no. I, I, I just want certainty. There's something really solid. Like, if, you, if, if I was to go and meet you and have a conversation with you, you would know the answers and you'd be able to give them to me straight up without without appearing you know how when you have a conversation with someone there's a lot of fluff and there's like uh yeah do i really know that they're actually saying what they mean or is it really the truth and it's interesting because the queen of swords is very it is a, it's all about the mind so she is very switched on mentally and in tune with so if you were speaking to her in this case it's you doesn't matter if you're a male, okay? It just you've got this energy. If I was to speak to you, you would know exactly what I'm trying to say, and you would probably interrupt me and tell me <laughs> in two words what I'm trying to say. It's that kind of energy. So, what abundance is coming into your life is the fact that you know how to assess the situation and get to the core. Of a, of a problem or, or an issue or just know how to read between the lines. Wow, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was that took a while too. So sometimes Spirit will just, the words that try to come out of my mouth take a little while. So that's a gift, I feel. And I love that about the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's have a look at here. We have the world and we have the web. This means that this these two cards came out in another little little reading that I did earlier on. And it just tells me that this is about you being known all around the world. 
because we have the web, which is making me feel like, you know, the internet, the web, and then the world, especially when it's next to the world. So, uh, but it's because you're putting in the effort with the cause and effect. It's like what you're giving out with your energy is what you're getting back. And you wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, you're very direct and you're very uh, intentional and... There's no messing around with the Queen of Swords. She knows what she wants. She's going to go after it and she'll get it. So there's definitely something here that you're known for. You may have an online business. You may do consulting. And why does that come through? That's something big here. I am sensing with the Queen of Swords. Consulting. Uh, you may be a mentor. You may be a coach. Or you may... Be an expert in some niche or some field. And we also have here the Ringmaster of Scrutiny, Discernment, Clear Vision, and Details. Wow. I'm getting so passionate with your pile. But we have Discernment. Queen of, Queen of Swords will know, will clear the air, will know exactly. Look at that. Discernment and Clear Vision. She has a clear vision. She, is, she does not switch back and forth. She does not change her mind easily. And why I'm saying so much information about the Queen of Swords and characteristics and all that kind of stuff is because this is the this is your abundance in the future. For some of you, I feel like you're already kind of abundant. I will say that. I kind of feel like for some of you, you're successful just because the Queen of Swords, she looks like she owns the place. So it makes me feel like you may already have your own business. You may already be an influence all around the world. If not, this is your future self, for sure. For sure. She's coming in so freaking strong. It's insane. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get some more information. Oh, wow. The haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Well, for some, I can just totally see the Queen of Swords saying that. Like, I can see her saying to someone, you know, oh, that person will get their karma. So, you know a lot about this energy. What you give out is what you get in return. You are going to be reaping what you have sown. And that is so evident here with the web weaver. Synchronicity, cause and effect, reap what you have sown. So make sure that your intentions are clear, especially here with the back and forth. But I definitely feel like that's an energy that you don't even want to entertain. It, it could be your service and how you help people with the back and forth. Because we also have next to it, I am reborn and reborn. Look at that. We've got five and five. Spirit speaks to me with double numbers. Double numbers, you have five and five. So it's the butterfly ferret, I am reborn. So maybe you help people. You Yeah, you definitely do. There is some sort of service that helps people become more clear with their life, with their vision, with their work maybe, or you guys could... I'm, why, why did wedding planners come in? I don't, <laughs> Spirit just channeled wedding planners, which is very uh, bizarre. It's that's definitely very niche, uh, but y y you just know how to run something efficiently and people rely on you. They call for you for your services. Okay. Maybe people... You're an accountability for people. All right, let's get more. Let's get your tarot. We have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. You know what the Nine of Cups is? Wish fulfillment. So uh, some sort of wish or desire that you've wanted will become fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. You're, yeah. You. I just love it. You're so emotionally fulfilled with what you do and the service that you give. Or how you're seeing. Intuition. I am in tune with my soul's inner knowing. Yeah. Intuition. And look at that. We've got a nine and a nine. The ringmaster of scrutiny. Discernment. Clear vision. Details. Nine of cups. 
So you had a vision with this nine and then you made it come to life with this nine of cups, which is crazy. I love that. Uh, I got ringing in my ear. So if you guys do have a vision, keep it, okay? Because it's gonna, it's, 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 wow. It's gonna come, come, come into, to being here with the nine of cups. It's gonna be really successful, especially those that are entrepreneur and have their own business. Wow. Okay, so keep that vision here. And it's funny because this man kind of makes me feel like a wizard and, and he and I kind of sensed witchy vibes here, didn't I? So, and we've got the intuition and it makes me, feel, yeah. That's a wand. You're waving a wand. And you're wanting to kind of make this wish come true. And you do. You cast, you may even cast spells. I don't know. So. Wow. We've got more books here as well. We've got 22, library, take control of your own narrative. Yes. I, I, I'm sorry, but I don't sense that this is your narrative. I already feel like you're already quite intelligent and healed in some respects. Like you've gone through your dark times and learned a lot of lessons and this is about you what you do with the tutor like maybe you give knowledge with the library like your services is a library for people you help them be become new people you help them become better people you transform lives crazy right wow you you Help people take responsibility for their lives. Let's get your other tarot. Five of Swords. I'm not doing reversals in my readings at the moment. So Five of Swords. Yes. Lovely. Okay. Let's get this other card. Be loved. Venus. Wow. Hi on number four. Okay, so Five of Swords energy, it's not a very nice energy. It's an energy of kind of mental conflict. It's, it's a tough situation. It's almost like you, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck, you, and most likely it's kind of next to the haystack. It's funny because it kind of feel like, no, he's not on a haystack, but... <laughs> This Five of Swords is the karma. It's the karma that he's reaped. And this is what you are going to help people with. You're going to be like, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you you were responsible for whatever you've attracted in your life because energy attracts energy, right? <laughs> so we're all energy and depending on our energy field and what we're putting out there is what we get in return. So I definitely feel like you help people take control of the way that they're thinking about themselves, their life, because if you don't, you're just, you're just giving yourself karma, bad karma. And I think that you guys wanna help transform that. And a lot of it could be love related. People may have a lot of issues in terms of love and it's not common. It's it's a big one. So your service may help people. Or your clientele that come to you have this, this karma from the relationships that they're in. And you help people identify like this is your crap and this is their crap. What do you really want? Because look at this lady. She's being held by a hand. She's not, almost like a puppet. I am feeling like the people that you love are controlling the way that you live. And I know that sounds, and I'm not trying to say that in a, in a horrible way, but it's just bringing awareness to your own power and the fact that you do have control of your life and other people don't control you. And I think that Five of Swords here is what, is that energy of picking up and being in other people's karma. 
because you feel like you're not you you can't take control of your narrative and that's where you come in and you help them such an interesting storyline for your for your reading pal number four <laughs> well done i am yeah I, you definitely deserve to be respected so your abundance is coming into your life i feel like you're already there if not this will be coming in in the future that's your future self you're very powerful you're in a position of power uh you have a vision it's going to be seen through and people are going to come to respect you and need your help in terms of clearing their own relational karma and being reborn because the queen of swords i always kind of feel like she is she's tough she's been through stuff like i <laughs> definitely stuff to do with the mind you know the queen of swords didn't just come out as like this tough figure who sees through bs like she had to go through that herself before she can become the queen because, yeah so she does have a tender heart deep down okay <laughs> because she's she's been there she just doesn't she doesn't show that vulnerability much, right? Because she's so professional. There's such a level of professionalism in your reading. And, a, and that's why. Because you you may actually be quite well known. And you have to put on that image that represents your service. Let's get your intuitive messages before we wrap up your reading. The pile at number four. Oh, that one I wanted to come out. Oh wow, this is it's so fascinating. It has not it's like all these channeled messages and uh what I'm getting from the cards, it's almost like the experiences that your service or your clients are going through, not you. Your imperfections and differences are going to change the lives of others positively. Okay, that's definitely your energy. Okay, so you may appear perfect to everyone, but that's far from the truth. And you know that, <laughs> but you own it. You own your imperfections, you own your differences. And that's what makes you stand out. How ch many chances are you going to give? Yeah. Okay. The take control of your narrative. So that's what you're going to help other people with. We also have you are smarter than you think. Find a solution, have a different perspective. Again, this is your, this is your expertise. If you don't know exactly what you're going to be good at, or the service that you need to provide, this is exactly what it is. Like, this is crazy how Spirit's giving you this. Forgive them and let it go. Yeah, forgive with that Five of Swords. This, uh, forgive, forgive the fact that you're carrying someone else's karma. And I'm not directing at this at you. This is your clients, all right? This is how you're going to help people. You're going to help people forgive the way that they've been living their life, being controlled by other people's narratives. They're, you're going to transform people's lives, make people shift their perspective, shift the way they see things. It's definitely with relationships as well. Okay, let's have a look at your little keyword. Let's see, pile number four, we have spellbinding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was I saying at the beginning of this reading? I was like, Ooh, you kind of feel like a spell. You do this, you do this to people. And you know the reason why you do this is because you are so honest. And, uh, and there's something really hypnotic about being honest and authentic and being comfortable in one's own skin. And not being attached to anyone else. Like the Queen of Swords would never, ever be anyone's puppet. So, uh, huh. How excited. I am just so happy for, for you for some reason, just because I know that this Queen of Swords didn't just become the Queen of Swords. You would have had to go through a lot. So you've earned this position. You've earned this status. You've earned this business. You've earned this reputation. And what you give out is, is just so helpful. You change people's lives on a global scale. So pile number four, that was your reading. I really hope that you got something out of that. Uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe 
or leave a comment. I am doing personal readings at this moment, but you'll have to go to my website, therapythroughcards.com. I will never, ever reach out and ask for a reading.